What do the clock on your microwave and a bun in the oven have in common? Follow me to find out. What in the world is this? It looks like I fell asleep on my keyboard and that's what came out. But hopefully you know that this is binary code. This is the actual language that computers and other digital devices speak. These series and ones and zeros are information and they mean something to digital devices. So for example, this series of ones and zeros could be what's telling this clock here what time it is and how to express that to you so you can see it. Now it's not, I'll tell you a little secret. What this series of zeros and ones is, is actually my son's name, Oliver, repeating over and over. So I'll share in the description of this video a link to a site where you can actually create your own uh, name in binary code. So why are we talking about this here on a video about DNA? Well, binary code is information and it's how information is passed from a computer to you. Well, it's not much different. This series of ones and zeros is not much different than this. This is a series of A's, C's, G's, and T's. And this code, instead of a binary code with only ones and zeros, if you want to call it a quaternary code, whatever you want to call it, this is information as well. So they both look like gibberish to me, but the binary code is what's allowing you to see everything you're seeing on your computer or your phone right now, and this code is everything that you are. So here's a picture of uh, one of the first pictures of my son Oliver, who you guys see quite a bit on this channel. These A's, C's, G's, and T's are the code that was used to build him. So that's the similarity between the binary code and your DNA. So how I like to think of DNA is as a flash drive full of blueprints. So when they mapped the human genome, they found that we have about 23,500 genes. So I look at it as this flash drive, this digital storage device that's storing thousands and thousands of blueprints. So what is a blueprint? It's a two-dimensional image that has all the information you need to build a three-dimensional structure. So whether that be the protein hemoglobin or structures that go into the brain like you're seeing here, that's why I think that is a very, very apt description of how your DNA operates. So think of it as a flash drive that's full of information. The information is stored in the letters A, C, G, and T, just like the information on a computer is basically stored and transmitted through ones and zeros. And that should give you a little bit of insight into how DNA works and how it is an amazing information storage device.